Chris Mazet, EY's Global Chief Analytics Officer, and my role is to really look across all of what EY does with our clients from an analytics perspective. A data and analytics leader in today's organization needs to be a bit of a renaissance professional, and there are many competencies and skill sets that are important, but we found four areas that seem to stand out. One is they really have to be a business expert. They have to understand the business and the industry sector very well and really where and how value gets created. Second, they have to be an innovator. They have to be able to see where in that business model there's the most opportunity for driving value and change and how those changes can lead to competitive differentiation. Third, they have to be a solution architect. Once you've identified where and how you want to apply analytics in the business, how do you actually work between the business teams and the technical teams to design the solution or the intervention mechanism that you want to put in place? And although this individual, the leader, doesn't have to be the one building the analytics models or implementing the technology, they have to be a bridge between the business and the technical teams to ultimately architect what the solution is that's being put in place. The fourth area is being a network builder. And this is really important and often underappreciated in this role, in that the individual has to be able to get things done in the organization. And that typically means having a large number of very trusted relationships with senior stakeholders throughout the company. And so having an individual who is really focused on building those relationships and working with other leaders in the organization to ultimately get things done is a critical skill set and one that we often find does not get enough attention. Mm -hmm.